and it gives us our waveform, our cranking time, the cranking lowest voltage. Uh, cranking system's good, so we can actually kind of manipulate this this voltage map here, and it uh, appears to be fairly accurate. guys got some tool reviews for you so first one the all tool brand bt box battery system tester i say that because this thing tests charging system starting system and it has some awesome features and this thing is 20 bucks now bt is not battery tester it is bluetooth because this thing is wireless and uses a phone app because this is 2018 and that's what we do with everything so let's go through the box what's in the box real quick uh before i do that i will tell you that i've used this thing for about a week now uh i've tested the accuracy of it versus in medtronic's exp uh, 1000 and uh against the pico test and then i've got uh, an old um like a dg129 and a couple other battery testers and this thing is pretty freaking accurate compared to those they're all a little across the board every one of them got a 10 to 15 cold cranking amp variants and this one is right in that ballpark there was some weird ones that were bad batteries that uh like the Medtronics and the pico said it was like 210 cold cranking amps and this thing said it was like 170 but um bad is bad and besides that one battery this thing has been super accurate so what's in the box well pull the pack material out We'll throw that thing out of the way. So, I've got the unit itself. I wear a size large glove, so this is not a very big unit at all. Uh, it's got two indicators. When you hook it up, the power LED will come on, and then once you uh, connect to Bluetooth, the green test LED will come on. Um, there's also an instruction booklet inside the trifold color book. It gives you a QR code and some information on where to find the app. If you just search BT Box. Uh, in the Google Play Store, you'll find it, and then and on iPhone, if you get a search, Autool, A-U-T-O-O-L, uh, BT Box, and you will find the app. So, that's what's in the box, the unit. Now, the unit itself, like I said, small, it's lightweight. The cables are, uh, they're silicone coated, they don't, or at least they don't feel like rubber, so I don't think they're going to dry rot and get cracked like cheap ones. The clamps I am super impressed with because that is a pet peeve of mine. Uh, they don't appear very big, but the mouth opens wide enough to hook onto a battery. The cable link between the two is uh, plenty long enough to attach to the battery post no matter where they're at. Uh, also, the clamps are not cheesy ones, man. They've got a, a pretty stout spring in there, and then they don't really flex a whole lot like you know the cheap cheap ones. You can move them and the, and the teeth move all in place. These things are pretty stout. Uh, then they, for whatever reason, heat shrunk this side, I guess, to keep the spring from being exposed. And I don't know if uh, this is soldered in here. I know it has the the uh, the additional leads because it uses a capacitive test. So it's using a couple different things here, which means you need to make sure that both sides of the teeth are connected well to the battery terminal. Um, and that's on both sides because there are connections on either end. So. Like I said, super impressed with the unit. So let's jump on over to put this thing on my truck. We'll go through all the tests and you can see some of the stuff it does. Um, it is worth its weight in gold for one individual test it does. But for 20 bucks, 100% uh, worth it. I will put the link down in the description. It will be an Amazon link. And uh, since it is an affiliate link, by you clicking on it and purchasing it through that link, you will be supporting the channel, which I will appreciate. Uh, so, let's get uh, right to the battery test and check this thing out. Like I said, probably my new favorite, like, cheap tool. So, let's go put this thing on my truck. Alright guys, so we're in my truck. Uh, we've got the app pulled up. You can see there's a couple options here. There's um, all tool, history, help, and you can change the language. So if we select the auto option, it'll give us our available devices that are available Bluetooth. So, so we'll select that. It asks us to confirm. So now we're connected to it. You can see the start test function down here is uh, has been lit up. So what we'll do is we'll select start test and we can do battery test, battery monitor, charging test, or cranking test. So if we go to battery test, 
It says for ensuring the accuracy of the test results, please stop the engine more than one hour, turn off all electrical loads, equipment in the car. So really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my headlights on for a second. I'm gonna remove the surface charge so we can get an accurate test. So the battery type, we're gonna do regular flooded because that's what I've got, but it'll do gel cell, AGM spiral, AGM flat plate, or EFB type. So your spirals like your Optima and your flat plates are a lot of the AGMs that are sold nowadays. So what type of system we're gonna use? Well, I'm familiar with cold cranking amps. The uh, battery that I've got in there is 650 cold cranking amps. So it selects everything, we're good to go. It'll do marine cranking amps, cranking amps, amp hours, SA standards, DIN, EN, European, all kinds of different stuff. So uh, we'll click start test. It's gonna do a little countdown here. All right, so then it gives us a, there we go. So at 13 volts, created 505 cold cranking amps, rated at 650, uh, 5.94 mega ohms is the internal resistance of the battery. It says the battery is aging and high risk to um, propose replacement in advance. So it's it's letting me, it's telling me that uh, I'm only at 60% of the uh, the cranking amps that it, that it would uh, normally produce. So it's saying this battery's aged. So there's one test result. Now you can click share. So you can select share and you can share it via just like you would share any other file. Uh, so let's go back now. Now we can go to the second option is battery monitor. We can select battery monitor. It's gonna pull up the screen here. And see it's given us the current state of charge. So what we can do is we can set a different sample time of how long we can monitor it and it'll sit here and actually monitor out the battery for us. So we could leave this attached if we wanted to monitor a battery uh, while it's in use and then walk away from it. as long as we are Bluetooth connected to the device Then we would be able to to do it now within the screen here. You can select sections and see the state of charge So we're gonna go back So our next option is charging system test so before that let's go to cranking test since we're gonna start the vehicle up Let's click cranking test it says please turn off all electrical equipment start the car After that press ok so it's going to start testing. I think it's another five or six second countdown. And it gives us our waveform, our cranking time, the cranking lowest voltage, uh, cranking system's good. So we can actually kind of manipulate this, this voltage map here. And it uh, appears to be fairly accurate. You can get really far in there. So look at this, 9.051 is what it saw. Now I think it's measuring like most uh, battery testers and unlike uh, a scope, it's not measuring the absolute lowest cranking. It's measuring the average over probably the first 50 milliseconds or so. I'm sure the refresh rate of the test time is, is pretty short. So this 1260 milliseconds is probably taking the average of that equals 10.95. That seems more like a reasonable result. So. That's good that it's built that in there because if it just showed you the actual lowest that it ever read, uh, I test regular, I test good batteries regularly, and during cranking on a brand new battery, you can easily see seven volts as the lowest volt when you're looking on some, on like an oscilloscope that has a really fast refresh rate. So this factors that in there and puts in your average cranking probably at, during that 1260 milliseconds. That's awesome. Uh, so this is so far really accurate. That alone I think is worth the the money of this tool here. Uh, so then we can go to the charging system test and since we've got it going we'll go ahead bring that up all right so step on the accelerator increase speed 2500 hold for five seconds then press ok so we're going to hold it up it's been about five seconds so we'll go ahead and press ok So it gives us our charging voltage, uh, and then it gives our ripple, 213 millivolts. It's actually kind of excessive ripple in my pickup. Uh, I may be looking at alternator pretty soon. I am on the original alternator at 230,000 miles and a battery that's like three and a half years old. So this gives me quite a bit of information. It says the charge voltage is normal. I don't know if it gives a message down here for the ripple or not, but we can, uh, So the only thing here is on the ripple, it doesn't give us our scale. Um, so I'm sure that's AC coupled. Uh, it looks like the orange line is our zero line. Oh, nope, that's just where I select. 
that's not our zero line. So we don't have a zero line, we don't have a, um, a scale to go off of, but if you could see there, that's actually gives us quite a bit of information. So all in all, this is the app, this is what you bring up. This is uh, seems to be really well built. It's from alltooltech.com, like I said. Um, I gave this thing a shot. This thing, I paid less than $20 for this off of Amazon. This is fantastic. I, uh, so guys, stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you next time.